Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase 10.5. In my last video, I was talking about a way to print from one track to another track because I have a plugin where automation doesn't work with Cubase. Uh, and people thought that I could solve this problem by using a MIDI track approach, and you can. I'll show you how to do it today, and I'll give you an extra automation tip uh, in this video coming up, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so we're here. I just have this little loop of guitar recorded. Um, and I'm going to show you how automation is supposed to work. So this is VST Amprac. This is uh, included with Cubase. And I'll show you by automating the wall here. I'll turn on write automation. And we can actually turn it on on the track as well. I don't think you need to as long as it's on on the plugin. Uh, we'll play through this. Oh, actually, let's, let's check to see if there is any automation. So in order to see if there's any automation on your track, you can right click and say show used automation. And we do have a little bit from before. So what I'll do is I'll highlight this automation track. I'll hit Shift Delete. And I'll say, yes, I really want to delete it. Now when I show used automation, there is no automation. So well, all I'll have to do is unbypass this insert. And I'll play through and I'll move the wah. And we'll look back at the automation. <laughs> Okay, now if we do show used automation, there it is. And we can go back and play it. And we'll see our wah pedal moving right here on the screen. That's how it's supposed to work. And that's also how it works with uh, Wave GTR. We can enable this. We'll delete this automation. Now with automation enabled and this unbypassed, we'll go back to the beginning and run through it. Now let me say for Wave GTR, it's not my favorite guitar plugin, but I do like this fader instead of uh, animation here because you can actually tell how far you are on a filter sweep. And so with that automated, we could do show used automation. And there you have it, what I just played in, and we'll see the, the fader move here when I play it back. Cool. And you can see that uh, we'll delete this. Uh, with Guitar Rig 5, it also works. So we'll open this up. And I'll have automation enabled. And we can play through. And we show the used automation. There it all is. We play back through, we can see the wah moving. And finally, we come to uh, Amplitude 4. This is what I was having trouble with in the last video. Let's just delete this automation. So I have Amplitude 4. And just like all the other videos, it's right enabled. So we'll play through here. You get the idea, we'll show used automation, and nothing's there. Uh, so how do we get around something like this? Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. I'm going to show you two ways to get around a plugin that won't record automation, like Amplitude 4. The first is to set up a MIDI track. Uh, so you'd go to here, set up a MIDI. I've named this one Guitar Control. Uh, and then I want this to go into my Amplitude plugin. So I come down here to my routing. And we see we want it to go into Guitar Insert Amplitude 4, MIDI In. And once it's there, my MIDI controller controls uh, parameters in Amplitude. So I come here to Amplitude. And I also, I wanted to show you that I did assign the WA to parameter 1. It just doesn't read. Um, so we want to assign this MIDI. And I'll assign it to my mod wheel. And if you notice, it's not working. And the reason why is because when you do this with your mod wheel, you actually have to monitor the MIDI track so that it's sending out signal. Once I monitor it, you see the, the wah-wah working now. And you see it's receiving MIDI input down here uh, when the red light goes on. So we can actually play through and record 
the MIDI, and then the MIDI will control the wah and sort of function as a de facto automation track. So let's try that. We have to record though, remember, and we have to enable this to record, unenable that to record. <laughs> Okay, so in order to, so on these ones, uh, when we had the fader moves, I'll show you real quick, we'll just re-record it. Um, you edit the MIDI by doing show used automation, and then you can get in here, and in the project window, sort of mess with your control points if you want to. When you do it the MIDI method, that, that edits the automation. When you use the MIDI method, you actually don't get a track like this. You have to go to your separate MIDI track, and then it's down here in your control panel. If you use the mod wheel, it'll be CC1. If you use your expression pedal, it's that's typically CC11. Or if you use something else like a foot pedal and you want to reassign it, you might have to uh, create a new controller lane for a different CC. So this, you also have the granular control like you do here in the project window with this task. Um, you're just editing modulation data. And if we play this back, and I'll, uh, we'll see the fader moves along with this modulation. So. So that's uh, pretty nice. And one nice thing about this is you can actually uh, move this between tracks. So automation is, so I guess you could move automation between tracks if you sort of copied everything and then pasted it to a different track. But with this MIDI in place, all I have to do is reroute the MIDI. So I reroute this into guitar rig. I unbypass my guitar rig channel. Let me make sure that my, yeah, it's unbypassed now. And we learn a new control. A MIDI or keyboard event was learned. And now that what I recorded for the amplitude will transfer over to the guitar rig. We'll actually get rid of this. And so the fader moves here on the MIDI track, you can transfer to any plugin. So we'll watch. All we'd have to do is bypass this, uh, go to our MIDI, have it route into GTR, and then go to GTR unbypass it and learn this with the mod wheel and we'll have the exact same fader moves. Uh, the only one that this doesn't work for is VST Amp Rack because VST Amp Rack doesn't have a MIDI learn. It wants you to use quick control. So you actually can't use a MIDI track with VST Amp Rack. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it works. Now, if you don't have a MIDI controller, you're kind of screwed if your uh, guitar plugin is not sending uh, automation data, but there is another way you can do this. So uh, I showed this in my last video a bit, but I've gotten better at this. Well, this is the offending culprit that doesn't write automation data. Well, we have a parameter assigned, assigned automation, wa parameter one. So in order to use parameter one to affect MIDI data from, uh, Amplitude, we can show automation, and then we make this big, because this is where we're gonna control it from. Uh, instead of volume, we find uh, what we need. So it's not in the initial one, so we go to more, and then we go to inserts, and then we go to Amplitude 5, parameter one. Okay, and you wanna make this big because you have a lot of throw. And so it's like you're controlling a wah pedal, and I'll show you, once we do it this way, it'll uh, with write enabled, you can write animation, you just can't write it from the plugin interface. So let's try this. So if you have a plugin that doesn't allow you to write automation through the plugin interface, you can actually write it in through Cubase itself. And if we play it back, I think you'll actually see this moving now. Uh, 
So you can either use a MIDI track and a MIDI controller to record and then link that MIDI track into your guitar plugin or whatever plugin you want to affect as long as it has MIDI learn or you can do it in the project window and that becomes your fader throws or your, uh, your wah pedaling. Uh, you do it all in the project window. So these have just been two quick tips on automating stuff if the standard automation practices aren't working for you like they aren't working for me with Amplitude 4. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.